Good morning, guys. Hello, Vengelov. Nice to see you. Today we are going to play Amazon Nature again. That was working pretty well for weekend ranked, so we stick to that. And yeah, later we play a whole lot of sealed because of the new event. And I hope we are going to get some nice pools. We'll see. <clears throat> and today we are also going to give away a rapture dance in shadow yesterday while we are not streaming GU. And we were already switched to magic, we reached the follower goal. So we give it away today. Stefanos, good morning. Great to see ya. How are you doing? Against war, I'm always not sure with Landcaller Captain. I guess I shuffle Landcaller Captain in. Mm. Is he playing the yeah, he's, he's playing the Chaos Adherent twice, so Landcaller Captain is not that great. Sand is all right, I guess. All right, so he's going to start with an X woman. Best of luck. I don't feel comfortable with that. I guess I just start with Nightly Foria. He's pretty fast. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And he got fracture. Hmm. I'm not sure about this. It's good that the boar got the 2-3 instead of the 2-2, two, two, I guess, but yeah. He's just going to fracture the the boar and play another creature to the board. I guess. Okay. Yeah, fracture. Oh, he's hitting our face with the book. Ah, but he's getting another one. Answer the call. Ah, this looks not good. This is not the way. So Pyramid Warden will give him probably something back. Like this, is going. this one he can also kill just with Walker's Captain and Fracture, and then we are going to eat four damage again. And he gets access to the Sanctum. Hmm. Mm, another round even. Shit. I guess this game is lost. There was just no way where we could take over the board in any way. Yes. Need to finish this one. Next turn we maybe can with Fey Flame Blade and Pyramid Warden. Under great casualties, but I guess not. He's going to play now, maybe White for Guard. He's lucky. Yeah, White for Guard, like I said. We got no out for this one when it's protected. My turn. I guess it's just game over. I think you'll find me a merciless victor.
Yeah, there's nothing we can do. Let's try again. So... Oh, next opponent is Light. Zulight. And we go first. This should be a better matchup. Definitely better. Mm. Let's shuffle River Jumper in and Nurtwist Daughter. Blade of Fight Plane 2. We're going to hope for one drop maybe. Storm. Now maybe not this I one drop, no but okay. No, this seems like a good time for Boar. I'm just wondering, is he playing another card? He's thinking. Yeah, he's playing another card. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep the board clean. It's a pity that we lose our Amazon, but... I think... It's important to keep this board clean. Now we cannot. Okay, okay. Answer the call. Dude, control! Welcome back, man. Good to see you. Let's play our warden and our canopy sniper. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you. I'm now preparing for a long, long grind of sealed. The new event is pretty juicy, I guess. Oh no! Cutmos! Cutmos is pretty powerful. Cannot harm him with our canopy snipers. Oof, that's not good, I guess. That's not good. How are you doing, dude? Cool, I be lurking. Is there a new event? I only saw they changed the sealed entry to 10. There's a huge event! I post you a link, give me a second. There is a huge event going on. You gotta take a look, it's bigger than everything we got so far with sealed. Mm. Here you go. Take a look. This is what eternity feels like. It is crazy. It is totally crazy. Good, just finished 18 heal light in under 4 hours. New speed record, lol. I guess that's due to a lot of people conceding, huh? Only one concede, maybe two. Okay, then it's... Then it's a good time. I guess. Protective Benediction he's playing. Oh no, oh no. That's bad. Oh, how... 
How do I sh did I ever be able to remove that? Holy shit. Ah, this is insane. Yeah, even 1-1 one, one will summon Echolite for the Kappa points. <laughs> okay. Nice. Good job, dude. Good job. I guess we might just keep it up until 7 mana and then we throw Hawtuck. It's helpful for blocker in certain matchups. I see. The law moves slowly, but mm -hmm. I can imagine, yeah. Oh, and the stream series you got too again. Thank you so much for watching. So he's taking care of Canopy Sniper first. So, hmm, Blade of White Plane. Card of the cards, yeah. I'm just wondering, should we play the Blade now already? I guess maybe yes, maybe we, we play this on that. And the Blade. And we run over Cutmos. Oh, another one. A Cutmos is not even dead. And then this was a mistake. I guess. I thought he would die, but yeah, he got two armor because of the protective benediction. Hmm. Crap. But it should be alright. We have a pretty good hand. I'm just wondering which one he's going to remove now, I guess. Aiko is pretty important to remove. But on the other hand, if he removes Aiko, we're going to draw from the blade. Hmm. I guess we are in a good spot now. But the chosen one, chosen one could be, could be dangerous. Why, Evan? Welcome back, man. Yeah, we are just finishing our P2E and then we grind sealed for the new event. Ah, he's getting a buff. And Diffia gets order. Hmm. I feel uncomfortable with that. We could finish Sail Weaver. We could also finish two other creatures. I'm not sure. What's the better way right now? Hmm. Seasons pass. I guess we probably want to get rid of two cards now. Oh, Shredder, nice. So he's getting less favor next turn. I guess it's going to be alright. He's low on cards. Lysander Spear is probably too late.
And he cannot get, he can barely not get the spot basilisk. Suicide mission, that guy. Okay. Is there a way to see or monitor your progress in sealed event? Um, I don't know. I would be curious if there was. It would be cool. But I have no clue, actually. I, I wish there was a way. Um, but for now, I have only a uh, paper where I write it down. Yeah, so, so I do it manually. I was yesterday doing two sealed runs um, off stream. Ja, ich kann aber ja Papier B schreiben, wird man wahrscheinlich sagen. Auf Papier schreiben. Be careful, he might mercy. Bobong, don't worry, this is um this is Zulite, he got no mercy. But thank you for your advice. GG <laughs> No mercy, yeah. Geometer will work on that, they said. Oh cool! Why, Evan, this is great news! Ah. Uh, very good news, yeah. Then I can drop my pencil, I guess. Ah, we are playing against light again. Oh, but this is heal light. Uh-oh, I have a bad feeling about this. I guess I keep Aiko in this matchup. Not sure about the rest. Yeah, to be honest, I also have a live run from before announcement. I didn't start yet. Assuming those won't count for the run. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. Blade of the Creator. Ooh, this is going to be a long match. I hope we are going to find Archmonian Onslaught with Create. Answer the call. Mm hmm, Motus Dora sounds like a good idea. We can keep a pretty good tempo, I guess, so far. Growth requires patience. Never abandon hope. That may be a problem, they said. You should even finish it before the event started. Okay. Ah, Yukos hurts for sure. Oh, another Yukos. Oh, holy crap. This is bad. Ouch. Dude Control, thank you for your subscription! Thank you so much! Oh, awesome! Thank you, man. You are crazy. Dude! Awaken. Thank you so much. I guess we play Combat Medic here, huh? 
We, can, we need to play Aiko later when he plays Aegis of the Innocent. Otherwise, I would have played her on curve. Thank you so much, dude. That makes me happy, man. By the way, guys, let me mention the Rapture Dance giveaway again. Today, I'm going to give away Rapture Dance after the P2E games. The Rapture Dance in Shadow that I forged by my own hands. Oh, ha! Wow! Thank you so much for the raid, H Pain, and welcome, Raiders! Nice to see you guys! G Ray, welcome! Good to see you! Davos, hello! How are you doing, guys? Hmm. Yeah, Tamacha, it's time to duel! Welcome back! Great to see you! Today we are playing Amazon Nature again, like you might have guessed it. And later on we are going to grind a whole lot of sealed for the new event. I'm ready for like, I don't know, maybe three or four sealed runs. So what did he got back? You cause an eclipse, okay. Ye go, Muti. Thank you for following. Thank you so much. Welcome on board. I hope you enjoy the stream. <clears throat> so what are we going to do here? We can do 10 damage in his face. I think I don't want to play more creatures right now because of Yukos. Hi. Let's hit the face. And we might create. I hope that's alright. Should we get anything from here? Maybe Balkas. You only make my light burn brighter. Cry, welcome back. The sealed event reminded me. That I hate sealed. Oh man. So bad luck with the pools. By the way guys, does any one of you know? Did they change the card pool for the sealed event? No, I just have to play a lot of it because of the event. Ah, I see. No, they are the same. Ah, damn it. I was hoping they drop Light's Verdict. Which is even worse. I'm sick of this rotation. Yeah, yeah. I feel with you. We could really need another sealed pool. Ah. The law moves slowly, but surely. So he's going to 14 again? We have 10, 11 damage here. Cannot play Ico, I guess. Is there a published list of all the cards available to be drafted and sealed? There was one time. I'm not sure if it's... If it's a list that... Um, if the list is um, like on the current... You know, if it's actualized. Yeah, I play 20 sealed runs, you know them by heart. Are you mad expecting that from the team? Hmm. So I guess we have still the same card pool for sealed like in the last event so there is a list is Thariel in the pool I'm afraid yes I'm afraid all the light verdict cards are in the list 
Mm hmm. And Hawtuck too. It's just crazy. Haven't had him for a long time though. GG! We did it. Yeah, thank you. GG. Next game is starting up already. Who is going to be your next opponent? Hmm. It's um, Zulite again. We have played against him before. That was the guy with um, Atmos. He played Cutmos and buffed him. Yeah, I suppose Create and Thievery GPs may or may not be limited by the bounds of the available pool. They are not limited. But it would be a game changer if they were, I guess. Okay, we start with Nightly Foria. Pretty relaxed. They ain't limited by the pool. Would be interesting if they were. Yes, yes. I think so too, but it's probably a bitch to program for the creators. I don't like that. Oh, Canopy Sniper from the top. Nice. Thanks. So you could RNG spin anything. I was legit asking because I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you could get anything. It's crazy. Highborn Knight eats way too many Amazons, actually. Why keeps he playing GG? That's sus. Two vexing Vikars, okay. And Radiant Dawn. Let's get the hoplite. It should be alright. We're just getting too much value from Canopy Sniper here. Yes, you could theoretically create into three photogenesis in three turns, yeah. We all have our it can be. But if you do it three times in a row, you cannot play it, except if you have a pip, otherwise it's too expensive, even if you are at nine man.
so. Oh, Trey! Trey plays card draw magic, okay. Let's see. 14 for this weekend ranked. So happy. Nice result. Nice result. Good job. I, I got the same, actually, with my wallet Amazon. And I'm happy too. It's long time ago that I got that good in weekend ranked. I'm not sure about this hand. I like it, but for going second, I think it's probably not ideal. The other thing is it could get worse. I guess I'll keep it. When we can trigger Finny and once, I think we'll go we're going to be fine. The calm before the storm. Tracking bold. Okay. Safe go. My turn. Hmm. I guess we cannot trigger Finian. Can. But I think we gotta play two now. Otherwise, we are going to be too slow. But the good thing is Trey is not playing Shaped Blast. This is not the way. Ah, Glynn. This one is a huge pain. Answer the call. Oh. Let's see how he's going to trade these off. A pip thing for Aiko, yeah. The apple. And now lay hot hatchling, okay. Damn, and Finian is going to die too. Okay, this looks bad. I guess. My turn. Mm. Let's finish this one. Spring harvest. If he could play Raging Giant with getting Frenzy, this could be interesting. He will be hard to remove. But otherwise, I think Trey is going to make the game. Yeah, he's going to finish Enraged Ally, so we cannot trigger Frenzied. We are not ready for Hawthug yet. Hmm. It's definitely not looking good. The cosmic scales must be kept in balance.
Let's see if he can kill the river jumper. But I guess he can. He got too many cards in his hand. He can just ping and play at the other layout hatchling. Oh, but he's doing it differently. Ah, because he wants to ramp. Okay, okay. Hey, but he's leaving us the chance to play our Raging Giant now. Ow. This is a big boy. Or better, a big girl. Maybe he draws a Randian. Yeah, but he's not ready for a Randian yet. Even with those ramp, he's not ready yet. And Unbound Flames cannot kill my Raging Giant. I guess he got no single out for Raging Giant. He always needs at least two cards. Librarian's Prayer? Mm hmm. And I call um, with Glynn. Ah, okay, okay, I see. Yeah, now I know what you mean. Let's see where. Oh, yeah, when we take this one. Can be sure it goes there. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I hope Trey can feel the pressure. Unbound flames for sure, but we have two survivors. Spring harvest, here we go. Barkswan Ranger, Barkswan Trail Marker, Ruins Explorer. Interesting. Let's play the blade. Nightly Foria and Lootable Corpse, I guess. We're going to play Box 1 Trail Marker 2. So, Unbound Flames in our face would leave him only with. Well, on the Raging Giant? Yeah. Would leave him only with one mana, and we still. Got trail marker and our blade to deal two damage. And we still got hidden creatures. Ah, he's getting Nightleaf Trapper though. Awaken. <laughs> yes. This is so close. Let's see if I can find some order in this chaos.
Hortak. So he can finish my two bigger Amazons. When he says Frontline and Leech for Hortak. He can finish these two. But then he needs to grab Ogre Archer. He's choosing Blitz and Protect it. He definitely needs to grab on the Ogre Archer. But he didn't. So, higher knowledge maybe, to get the Unbound Flames back. It's an intense game. No Unbound Flames. Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis? What the fuck? Who is playing something like that? I can trade her off? I didn't expect that. I thought it's game over now. Awaken. Ah, and it is. What a top deck! Yeah. Life. Got a good win rate so far today again. Nice. GG, dude. Thank you. Zuvo is this. Zuvo with Commander Pyrus and Lycaeus Adherent. Lycaeus Adherent is always such a pain in the ass. Hmm. I think we shuffle Landcaller Captain in. I'm not sure about Aiko, actually. He is playing two Blade of Sticks. So we might even want to keep her. And I'm not sure River Jumper or Fey. I guess I shuffle River Jumper in. Fey Flame Blade is good. I think for going second, I'll keep that hand. Good luck. Hmm. The calm before the storm. Yeah, let's start with the Fey Flame Blade. Finish that this X Woman. Yeah, we are going to take a whole lot of damage. My turn. But it's necessary, I guess. I can't do that. We all have our limitations. If we are lucky, he's maybe not able to finish Fate Hornblade right away. A 
but we are not lucky in this case. Ouch. And now fracture. Hmm. <clears throat> There's not much we can do right now. He can finish Canopy Sniper off too easily. Way too easily. Ah, but Sanctum Guardian is now going to stick, alright. Maybe it was foolish to attack this one. Maybe we should have gone for phase. Hmm, I guess yes. Ah, oh, okay, Lycaios Adherent is such a pain in the ass. Like I said. Mm. Oh, but Landcaller Captain is actually cool when he just played Lycaios Adherent. We just hope that he's not holding another one in his hand and it'll be alright. I'm not going to play Pyromite Warden yet. Want to run over something big with Shredder and get a big pyro ass Pyromite Warden? Another Blade of Sticks, okay, that's not too bad. Can take it. Oh, he's going for face! Interesting. Shit. Is he able to finish us if we don't play frontline? We don't know. I don't want to die. Would cut him, but we are dead. Rune of Sight. Enchanted Vines. Interesting. But still... I'm afraid. Ah, we are just down too much. Now Woodcutter and we are dead. Right? Lambasting wand. Ah oh, yeah, he got that one. Okay, 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 this looks bad. We need heal. Immediately. Oh, this is ridiculous. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> what the fuck, yeah. Okay, but now we are done, I guess. GG. I guess here he was just a little bit too fast for us.
Ja, wenn, wenn uh, Agro War goes uh, first, Amazons have usually that chance. I was hoping for a comeback. Yeah, me too. Me too. And we high rolled enough for a chance for sure. Raphael, thank you so much for following. Welcome on board. Nice to meet you and I hope you are going to enjoy the stream. Thank you so much for following. I appreciate it. Our opponent here plays Food Chain Nature. I think Food Chain Nature can be pretty, pretty strong. If they can get their combo early on. Turn 1, turn 2, turn 3. I guess I keep it. But yeah, they can also be pretty aggressive with Underbrush Boar and Fire Shell Beetle and stuff like that. Mm. By the way, guys, don't forget to join the giveaway for the Shadow Rapture Dance. We reached our follower goal yesterday already. Before... Um, no, after the GU stream. So I wasn't... Giveaway, doing the giveaway yesterday when while we are reaching it because we had a different stream then already. We played Magic. So, we are doing it today. Oh, Underbrush Boar and Pyre Shell Beetle. This is not nice. I guess we have trouble. Morte Madre, welcome back. Yeah, you can join the giveaway with exclamation mark enter just like that. If you have enough points, the first ticket is always for free. And then you gotta use your beards. And you get your beards while you are watching the stream. A few beards every few minutes. And right after the 10 P2E game, so after four more games... I'm going to give away that Rapture Dance. Oh, all those regenerating creatures. Holy crap. We could hide our Ico behind the Pyramid Warden though. Diego, all right. That's it. You got a ticket. Good job. Yeah, Bobong civilian, just like that. How much points? One ticket? I guess it was 20. Let me take a look. Um, loyalty giveaways. Public page. So, in general, um, yeah. You can have up to 10 tickets in total, and one ticket is 20 points. And you can also take a look at this website. And you can also um, type exclamation mark giveaway, then it shows the that message automatically. Um, so what are we going to do here? Hmm... I feel like he's going to have food chain. So it's not efficient to play Murtus Daughter now, I guess, but I think we have to. Because we have to finish all those blade flies. It's a pain. It's a pain, but we need to, to finish the blade flies. You can also um, add a number to the enter. Enter 7, for example, to get already um, 7 tickets. 
You don't have to do it all the time with uh, with a single command. Yeah, I like that. I think now there was maybe just a cooldown on it. <laughs> don't worry, Protocry X. Don't worry. I feel like that too, most of the time. Yeah! So, no food chain? Nice. I guess we run over the broccoli walker. Underbrush boar. And Phaeton blade. Ah, 10 is too much. You have already tickets, Mortal Madre. 10 is the maximum, so the bot sees... Ah, you have already tickets, then 10 is too much. And now I guess we have a cooldown again, probably. Mm. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Food chain, here he goes. Oh god, oh god. What is he going to get? Holy crap. The snapping turtle is the, the real deal here. Yeah, I guess we cannot take on the snapping turtle. The rest is not that bad. It's still bad, but... We could deal with the other stuff. But the turtle is a problem. Yeah, the frontline guy is strong too, but... The turtle... Ooh. Cannot finish her, I guess. Damn it. I guess we're just going to die here. We could top deck Shredder maybe. With Shredder we could we could finish the turtle. But otherwise it looks bad. By the way, he still got 19 cards in his deck. How big is the chance that he got Blade Flies twice already and Food Chain? I guess not that high, actually. Ah, but okay, he, he was using 4C2. So he was already maxing out his chances. The second Food Chain. So if he could finish his board, I guess he's out of fuel, but okay, Winebound is not someone we are going to finish anytime soon. GG. GG. Now come on. Okay, let's try again. What? Unable to join Q? Ah, oh, damn it.
What do you think about Mayday? Uh, I think it's not that easy to play. It's a pretty strong deck, if you know how to play it. But I don't like to play it or play against it that much. It's not my type of deck. I stick to stuff like Amazons or Atlanteans or Zombies. I like stuff like that. Mayday is uh, always getting me messed up in the head because you have to plan carefully with your combos. And I'm, I'm too dumb for that. So this is Coconut Magic. We go first to math. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. I'm not sure about this. I, I'd like to keep River Jumper, but maybe on turn two, we don't have anything if we drop these two. It's a little bit risky. I hope it's going to be all right. The calm before the storm. Ah, it's all right. Okay. Not the way. So what is he going to do? Assistant alchemist, okay. And... Card charm. Okay. And lost in depth already. Okay, okay, okay. Another one drop would be nice, but we don't have too many, so it's pretty unlikely. We have already three in our hand here and on the board. And we are playing six, I guess, when I'm not mistaken. Okay, but Landcaller Captain is alright. It's a pain when they get lost in depth uh, that early. Mm. Yeah, he just needs to ping my 1-1. One, one. <laughs> there is every small sign of pressure gone already. Okay, okay. Uh, maybe maybe it wasn't wise to to play this one before we kill that guy. Yeah, that was dumb. Not a good decision. If they both got the ping only, yeah, we could have traded with them into this. They would have both survived. Hmm, that was dumb. Now he's playing his coconut already. Yes. We can do some pressure, but I'm afraid it's not enough. It depends a lot now on, on what he's going to get from the Divine Corona. Mm. 
Shit, Poli, oh no. Yeah, we cannot take on Poli, I guess. Except if we get some, something strong from Create. Frontline, protected ward. At the end of your turn, give ward to this creature. So he's not getting the protection again. We pop the protection first. Mm. How curious. Usually, those decks have no chance with... Or curve is a little bit better. Usually we run over these Divine Corona decks. Oh no, he got leech. Ah, damn it. Just thought, yeah, okay, we can push six damage with that wand. Still. Ah, then that leech. The end of your turn. Summoning a copy of this. Oh, crap. Yeah, I guess it's game over, probably. Yeah, and that the poorly got frontline makes it even harder. I guess it's game over. Got still four coconuts left. This is not the way. The universe continues to astonish. Okay. Got no space on the board to play anything more. Ah, he's getting the wand. Shit, I should have taken that, I guess. Instead of the lootable corpse. Answer the call. 
is a frontline creature in the way. Such a petty existence. Well, yeah, I guess it's game over. He's just going to play another coconut and then next turn we are dead. Ah. We tried our best, we tried our best. Ah, but sometimes when they have the lost in depth too early, there's even aggro deck too slow. I think it was crucial that he was building up the board on his first turn with the alchemist and those um, two one drops. And then he was playing at the same time already lost in depth. So he could deal with our board initially. Hmm. And at the same time he played Lost in Depth. That was pretty strong. So this opponent here plays Atlantean Magic. This can also be a hard opponent. We are going first, so we are looking for one drops now. Hmm, Fey Flame Blade might be not that bad actually. But I didn't I don't know about Canopy Sniper, especially when we have no one drops. Mm. The calm before the storm. Ah, we got Godspeed. one. Speed. Second one drop would have been good though. Two of those. Okay, that's time for Fey Flame Blade. I can't do that. I think we pip into this one. So we can profit more from Canopy Sniper next turn. I just hope he got no Forager to trade her off. But he got ah uh, okay. But it still looks good. I guess. Answer the call. Okay, let's take it slowly. No need to bump into him with the nightly foria. He will just get pinked. It's just having two cards. That's looking good, I guess. GG. Come on, last game gotta be a win. We cannot end like 5-5. Especially after these days. Uh, yesterday we got 8 wins. Saturday 7, Friday 8. After such good games, we cannot... And just on 5-5, five, five, come on. We are doing 6-4. Let's keep our fingers crossed. And focused. And right after that match we are going to give away the Rapture Dance. Then I'll take a short break for a few minutes to get a fresh cup of coffee and then we are going to play Sealed. And we set up the next giveaway for sure too.
So, waiting for opponent. I guess we gotta restart that. Otherwise, we are waiting for the opponent forever. So, hopefully it's going to work out this time. Starting again with waiting for opponent. Ah, now we, here we go. Alright. It's war. Wallet war. Holy crap. Oh, this is not a good matchup for us. Wallet war is a huge problem. But we are trying our best. We can do it. Yeah, Wallet War got way too many leech, too much leech and um too much value. And they are too controlish. <laughs> In the beginning to rush them down is not possible usually when they have a Savage Strike, um Wolf Cult, Vanguard and stuff like that. It's very hard to rush them down. Unto the breach. Best of luck. Hmm. The calm before the storm. Okay, let's start with Pyramid Warden. That's a brick already. I guess we also pip into him. Now we really gotta gotta give everything we got if we want a chance to rush him down. Just savage strike is really a problem here. It will leave us just with two creatures. When one of those can be fractured next turn. But if he's not having Savage Strike, we are going to swing for 7. And we are also playing River Jumper Captain. Ah, but he got it! Damn! Claw and Fang 2! Shit! Five mana? Uh oh. Just an Abyss Watcher, okay. I was afraid he might play Blade of White Plane now. Awaken. Oh yeah. But we are still not fast enough, I guess. <laughs> Savage strike again. And then he just pings the Pyramid Warden away. Getting his Abyss Watcher back. Damn it. My turn. Ooh, another River Jumper though.
Gift from Spring. Give two two to your weakest creature. If your friend seed also refresh two mana. Okay, let's see if he can deal with that. Sunset Down to 12 already. Fades. Maybe we actually make it. The river jumper is for sure a problem for him, I guess. Oh, just a blade. Ah, and claw and fang. Shit. Mmm, shit. That was probably too much. Oh, oh. Can he finish River Jumper? Ah, oh, no. Damn it, we are so close and so far away. Fuck, and now he's going to kill River Jumper. He can get Smash Buckler. No, not Hard Attack. Oh no. Oh, it was so close. Ah, shit. Only chance is now top decking um, Landcaller Captain. Oh, we top deck Hard Attack too. It's not end caller captain. Ah, damn it. Damage to Hortak would have been too good. Shit. I guess we are done now, probably. Hmm. That was so close. We're going down to nine now. He's going up to nine. Come on, top deck hot hack. Really hate that soul departure, especially. Oh, one turn too late. Oh no. <laughs> Shit. Oh, damn it. One turn too late. Land caller captain. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's a pity. Really hate that soul departed, especially used in refresh nature. Yeah, I can imagine. Okay, we are ending with five five. That's all right. Could have been worse. Could have been better. I'm just wondering: Am I playing the wrong version? Huh. Today, I never drew... In 10 games, I never had Thariel. I was wondering if I even play that in this version, but I do. Never had him. Not even in a mulligan or something. Strange. Alright, guys.
Let's give away that. What's that? I don't know. Let's give away that Rapture Dance in Shadow, guys. Um, we need uh, streamelements.com. And I'm going to show that here. All right, you should be able to see it now. I'm going to close the giveaway. Good luck for everyone who is participating with their tickets. Let's close it and let's draw a winner. Good luck, guys. Here we go. And the winner is Morte Madre. All right, congratulations. You had a chance of 1.49% to win that giveaway. Nice. Congratulations. I'm going to send you a message on Twitch. So you can send me your wallet. Hi, you won Rapture Dance in Shadow. I just need your wallet. GG. All right, and now we are going to set up another giveaway. Next follower goal is 1090, and the next sub goal is 25. And mark giveaway is completed. Next card is going to be Light Slavey. Mm, back to giveaway. Lights. Levy in shadow. Give everyone their first ticket for free. Send confirmation when buying a ticket via chat. Create and start. So the giveaway is open, guys. Um, and we need a new giveaway picture. This one. All right, so the next giveaway is ready to. Okay. Now we are going to switch to sealed mode. Let's buy in. So, paying 10 gods, sign, all right, okay, and before we start um, this round here, I'm going to get another cup of coffee, I'll be right back guys, thank you for watching so far and I hope you stick with me for sealed, I'll be right back, right back. Oh, and in the meantime, in the meantime, we can do advertisement so we get less advertisement later while we are playing. <laughs> 